so today we're going to do a cute little sewing style with Wiggins hair. I have three bundles of Brazilian wavy hair. Two, I have two bundles of 24 and a bundle of 26. Today we're only going to use three bundles of hair. I have four bundles, but today we're only going to use three bundles of hair to do this cute little sewing style. Okay, so today I'm going to use hair from Wiggins hair. Um, we put this hair in a ponytail. She had that hair in for about two weeks and she didn't do anything to it. She didn't comb it, she didn't, she didn't do anything, but it still looked really good. So we took the same hair and we're going to put it in a little cute little sewing style today. So the hair is still really, really good. I haven't washed it or anything like that. Um, so it's still good to use. So. We're going to go ahead and get started with that. To do the sewing style, we're going to leave a section out on the top because I'm going to do like a um, rubber band thing type thing to it. Um, I can't really explain what it is, but you'll just see what it is. And um, I left her edges out on the side. On both sides, I left some edges out. And I left um, some hair out to cover the wefts because the sewing is gonna be sewn all the way up here. So it's a part of, uh, there's a little section out to cover the wefts. So I'm gonna go ahead and braid her hair down and then I'm gonna sew a hair net on and then I'm gonna start sewing the hair in. So I always like to braid a braid around the sides and the top um, to have a good foundation for sewing on the net. That's always important when you're doing a sewing, so you always want to make those braids um, tight and a reasonable size. They don't have to be extra tiny, and you definitely don't want to make them extra big, um, but just enough so it, it won't show any bulkiness when you're doing your sewing. Okay, so I finished the braids. I'm gonna sew the tail on. Um, my hands are old, so I can't braid as tight as I used to. Um, but this is a good foundation. It ain't the best, but it's the good a good foundation where her sewing is gonna last four to six weeks um, once I sew on that net. So, like I said, the braids around the perimeter is the braids that really, really matter. Um, and the other ones, they just need to be tight um, and not, it don't have to be extra neat, but it, it does, it do need to, it does need to be tight. So I kept the wefts doubled on uh, with this hair and um, I left them doubled because the wefts are not really thick. So, and I am not doing like a full head sewing and I want to get as much hair in as I can. So. I just left the wefts double. You don't have to do the wefts double if you don't want to. You can do them single, uh, you know, single wefted. But for this install, I'm doing it double wefted. So I'm just going to spray some water on this hair before I put any heat to, to her hair so I don't spray the water on her hair um, just to kind of tone it down because it's kind of big hair or it can get to look like big hair so I'm just spraying some water on it to tone it down. So once I have that all sprayed up. I'm gonna go ahead and like press out the rest of her um, hair. I put a little pressing oil on it and press her edges out. And I think I might uh, deep wave the her leave out just so I can blend in a little bit more with the wavy hair. So 
So I parted this in like four different um, little mini sections and I'm gonna put little rubber bands on it. I kind of switched up what I was gonna do. Um, because sometimes I just do that. <laughs> I thought of something else, so I'm just gonna um, do that. Can't really explain it, but um, yeah. So I don't put the rubber bands in there the wrong way and the wrong, well, going in the wrong direction. So when you do this, start in the front and then go to the back. Um, because I definitely um, messed that up, but it's okay. We're gonna work with it. I'm not gonna take it all out. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna um, just um, deep wave her hair to kind of blend it in with the weave a little bit. Well, D wave her D bow. So I'm using my favorite edge control from Style Factor Edge Booster. If you don't have any, you need to get some. <laughs> this is a really good edge control. Help me get my swoops in. Okay, so make sure you guys check out Wiggins hair. Um, like I said, this was her second install using this hair and it still looks hella good, pretty good. So make sure you check them out and follow them on Instagram, um, Wiggins hair. Make sure you check out my Instagram at Filthy Rich Tresses and like my Facebook page, subscribe and like this video. Thank you for watching.